Canadians want some transparency. When we see what's coming out of the U.S. and that they're laying out in 18 pages what their priorities are, Canadians would like to see the same. You know, there are a lot of Canadians that are worried about their jobs, that are worried about what's going to happen to our dairy, that are worried about what's going to happen with investor state provisions. So they would like to know as much as the U.S. people know about what our priorities are here in Canada. When we see our closest trading partner being more transparent with their citizens, that's a problem. I think that we need to change the way that we're looking at trade in our country because people are affected by it and their jobs, their communities, their families. We need to look at a way where we can share, certainly not our you know deepest negotiating secret, um, but definitely our priorities. We need to respond to what the U.S. has now laid out on the table. We're not talking about publishing these objectives, but we're talking about a game plan. Uh, what, what's it going to be? We haven't even secured our lead negotiator on this. You know, there's been talk that Steve Rahul will be our guy, but the Americans and the Mexicans have both come forward and said who theirs is going to be. We still haven't even done that. So that's the first basic step that we need to do. The Americans know what, what, uh, what our issues are, I mean, what the, what the sensitive ones are, but at the end of the day, we need to know how we're going to handle it, uh, what, what the game plan is, is overall. They've come up with a list of 100. Uh, I haven't seen anything at all that says this is a red line for us. Chapter 19, of course, would be a red line for everybody. Um, you know, even banks won't invest when there isn't some sort of a backstop. So we need to know, are we serious about those types of issues?